Well, many tumors have p53 mutations, and p53 is a key regulator of the G1 checkpoint. And um, tumors that have p53 mutations um, lack a functional G1 checkpoint, and therefore rely on the G2 checkpoint for cell cycle arrest in response to DNA repair. And V1 is a key regulator of the G2 checkpoint. And pharmacological inhibition of the G2 checkpoint using a V1 inhibitor may selectively sensitize P53 mutated tumor cells to DNA damaging anti-cancer agents. And coming back to your next question, why we conducted this study, the Netherlands Cancer Institute participated in a multicenter phase one study with three different agents, carboplatin, gemcitabine, and cisplatin, in combination with the V1 inhibitor ASA D7075. And already, of course, that study was conducted when preclinical principle was obtained. And the phase one showed that all three combinations were tolerable and safe, but there was still no clinical proof of principle. So that's why we set up this investigator-initiated um, phase two clinical trial. And we considered ovarian cancer patients um, particularly interesting for this study um, because of multiple reasons. First of all, ovarian cancer patients um, that do not respond to first-line therapy um, have poor other options um, for treatment. And um, secondly, um, first-line therapy of um, ovarian cancer includes carboplatin and therefore rechallenge with carboplatin is possible. And this also means that these patients could serve as their own control. So, and finally, um, ovarian cancer uh, patients often have tumors that harbor P53 mutations. Additional studies are needed, um, but ultimately it might improve, uh, it, it might improve treatment and, and uh, lead to better survival. The primary findings were, uh, like in the phase one, that um, the steady treatment is well tolerated, um, but it shows also clinical activity, which is very encouraging. And please realize that these patients did not respond to first-line treatment, but they did respond, they did respond to this treatment. Um, so the main finding is that this study uh, shows clinical pr uh, proof of principle, and um, this imp implicates that um, there is an indication for further development in this particular patient group. But actually, it also opens doors um, to other um, tumors that harbor P53 mutations. This study showed proof of principle and that ACD7075, the V1 inhibitor, selectively sensitizes P53 mutated tumors to DNA damaging agents. I think that's the most important message. Well, actually, the, the, the drug is from AstraZeneca, so AstraZeneca um, is uh, leading further development and for a late for a late update I think the best thing is to refer to clinicaltrials.gov um, of course I have my own opinion in this and I think um, that this particular patient group um, and, and that additional studies are needed in this particular patient group um, but also in other um, tumors that harbor p53 mutations and then there are several options um, there is a combination of several dna damaging agents in combination with the v1 inhibitor but also with for instance targeted therapies um, think about BRCA mutations and then um, dual inhibition with a v1 inhibitor and a PARP inhibitor that i think might be very interesting as well so enough options for the future